I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. Wednesday, June 30th, the reading is from Mark, the ninth chapter, verses 14 through 29. And when they came to the disciples, they saw a great crowd about them, and scribes arguing with them. And immediately all the crowd, when they saw him, were greatly amazed and ran up to him and greeted him. And he asked them, What are you discussing with them? And one of the crowd answered him, Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a dumb spirit. And whenever it seizes him, it dashes him to the ground. And he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast it out. And they were not able. And he answered them, O oh, faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him. And when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, How long has he had this? And he said, From childhood. It is often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe. Help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You dumb and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out, and the boy was like a corpse. So that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, This kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer. The word of the Lord. Jesus, Peter, James, and John returned from the Transfiguration mountaintop to find the other disciples amid a great crowd and much commotion. Jesus learns that his disciples had tried to heal a boy and failed. Clearly frustrated with the disciples, Jesus speaks harshly to them. Then he asks to see the boy. The boy's father pleads, If you are able to do anything, have pity on us and help us. Jesus counters, If you are able, all things can be done for the one who believes. The father immediately cries, I believe. Help my unbelief. Given the slow to understand disciples, this perfect response likely surprises and encourages Jesus. As followers of Jesus, sometimes we fail and sometimes we get it right. We both disappoint and encourage. Like the Father, we cry, I believe. Help my unbelief. Our prayer. Oh God, I believe. Help my unbelief. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.